hello and welcome to my channel so as a part of this btp training tutorial series today i will show you how you can create a above cloud project with sap btp environment so basically uh, if you use a edit and if you click the new project you can find that above cloud project and another is the above project so basically um, you probably know that how you can create the above project using the editor but this above cloud project actually it is related with the vtp so today i will discuss how you can connect and how it is related with the sap vtp so basically i am going to discuss about that Create an above cloud project. Okay. So now uh, here, suppose that is your A D T. It can be Eclipse or it can be Hana Studio, whatever it is. But it is just a uh, ATP. For example like that is the same i am using the scp hana studio but um scp if you want to log into the scp system so here that is scp cloud scp as for HANA cloud system and it is totally free so if you know how you can connect actually you can you can create your projects on the SAP on, on cloud and another thing is that there is no SAP GUI that is no SAP GUI So everything you have to do your edit system and if you want to connect from your edit system actually you need to do some configuration in your BTP okay so for example that is your BTP system In the previous video you already know how you can connect and how you can configure um, and how you can the, create the users and accounts sub account quota assignments everything i discussed so you can check my previous video so in this video actually i am not um, talking about that so what happened is that so although you are connecting to the sap cloud systems so basically for example you are or that is your local systems and that is your cloud systems but um, you cannot directly connect to the sap cloud system you need some authentications this authentication is basically check that in your vtp systems that on instant that is above environment it is running or not so basically whatever you are doing to these sap cloud systems all and everything's actually maintaining by the above environment so for example so if you try to log in to the above cloud environment so basically here at first it will check that you are authenticate for that above environment i mean that uh, btp systems and after that first we'll check that in btp systems you have that access 
so after that it is first it is check that systems access and number two it check that your above environment instance is running because the above environment actually the handle all of this load balancer whatever it is or memory space actually everything will be maintained by the above environments after that with that above environments it will connect with that sap hana cloud systems so once it is connected after that actually using your edit you can directly create update whatever is the cds whatever you want you can create here but you have to make sure that above instance is running okay so now let's uh, step by steps we will create that so that is the reason um you already have that um above development tool or edit and this is the free systems you will get that free free cloud environments so now actually you have to install that uh, above environments so let's start uh, the above environments from here so this is my um, my btp cockpit as per previous video you can check everything um, if you have any confusion so you already know about that sub account or trial accounts and that instance and other things so if i go to that instance here first of all i have to create a uh, instance this instance basically that above instance after that we have to create a um, service key so whenever we log in to the above cloud environment so every time actually it will check that service key so first let's start the above environment so if i go to the instance here just uh, create so here let's check that above you can see that above environment is already showing here but in your case if if this above environment is not appearing here then you have to go to the entitlement actually from here you have to activate so actually i am getting uh, so many uh, messages that their above environment is not showing in the instance because that above environment is not active here you can see the cooter essence is already on unit is already assigned it is not assigned that first you have to assign here after that actually in the instant you will find that it is available okay so now actually i have to create the instance here so this instance is above environment so basically that is the shared plan and cloud foundry dev space and i have to keep a name of that instance basically i can give the same name and next so i have to put my um email address so this is um i put my email address put next and i have to press the create so basically it is uh, creating you can see the creation is progress so it will uh, take some time so let it be completed so actually we are doing this part that above environment so 
now actually if we just make a different okay so now so you can see that above environment is already um, created so but if you click here you can see that there is no service key so as per our discussion that we have just in the number two we have created this but we also need a service key okay so let's create a service key um it's not that much difficult so here actually we have to just create a service key so we have to name a service key so we can say that above environment key something like that and after that just press the create so now you can see that um, it is the service key is generating and this key later we will uh, use in the uh, editing you can see that it is created now already we have that instance uh, we have that instance and service key now actually we have to go to that our editing and now that new ABAP cloud project so now actually you can put the URL but we have to configure based on our BTP environment so I select the BTP environment and I can I use that user service key JSON format so I can put this next so basically here I have to put that service so what I can do from here um, you can see that is my key so from here I can just download the service so let me download so here I am downloads and above service key just text format is okay just save so it is downloaded so now actually here I have to just import from that download location so I am using this and press next so now actually this key is validated so from here actually I have to open the page in browser or I can copy so I just press the so this is for that authentication purpose so now the access has been logged in so I can just close this browser and I can come here and you can see that is the service URL and my email address and the, that is my user ID so I just click next so it's okay just finish so actually now I log in to the SAP free SAP S4 HANA cloud systems so from here um, I already uh, let me check uh, I already have some uh okay so it is not here but you can see that that all uh packages uh, what the other people they are working like the same way you can find this so when you start your work you what you can do you can create your own packages under the local so you can just click here just right click the new here have a package you can see the super package local so chat a rep I just my previous so rep package is for the development so click next So it
it will take a little bit time because it is actually connecting to the uh, cloud system so I'm also showing you this because um, so many people also uh, get some uh, issues with that so I think it is also better to show you how you can create a package so uh, actually the package is already exist so I just uh, make a one and you must select the add to the favorite otherwise you will find a lots of um, packets already created by the many users so it would be better just add to the favorite and um, click next okay so it's it's look good so you just press next that's it finish so now actually as you select that it is in favorite so now uh, everything is ready so from here actually you can uh, create your um, CDS view bind service whatever it is you can uh, pick prepare uh, from here so um, uh, that's uh, that's all um, if you find any difficulties uh, please uh, leave comments i will try to solve you and i really like to solve those type of problems if anyone uh, try but they face any problem so if you really like uh, my video please um, subscribe my channel and uh, share and like comments thank you so much